guys thank you for coming back and all that cool stuff um today i'm going to go over all of my favorites and my rejects and i'm gonna call them yups and nopes because i like it that way and i think it's funny so we're gonna start off with my nyx highlight and contour pro palette i use this almost every single day i love it the one i use most of the time is this one here obviously look at I don't know why it does that it anyways this is the one I use because it's better for my skin complexion and this highlight is actually really good in the palette I like it so anyways this is a go by and what else on the face um so I went and got um a sample of the Estee Lauder, Lauder um, Double Wear Foundation. It's a little bitty sample. I want to try it before I bought it. Really good. Stays on all day. Love it. Next, we're going to go on to Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. Anyways, this is really good. I love this stuff. Great coverage stays on forever. Um, I would recommend to use a primer and then a setting spray afterwards. What I use, which is also one of my favorites, is the Professional. This is a little sample size also. Um, it's great. Then afterwards, I will put on the Makeup Setting Spray from Hard Candy. Nice. Um, so one thing I do not like um, that I bought and want to try out was the Lumi Cushion from L'Oreal. You know, I I tried the applicator it came with, tried it, tried it. I mean, I know it works for some people, but if you have acne or acne scars, this will kind of cover it up, but it won't give you full coverage like you want. So, if you have acne, no. Don't do it. Okay. So, since I'm still on the face, I'm going to let you know that I will scrub my face with this. Probably wondering what it is. It is coconut oil and that white, that white stuff. What is that white stuff called? Arm and Hammer baking soda. Baking soda and water. I use this sometimes about a couple times a week. It's pretty good. All right. So we're still on the face, so I'm just gonna let you know what I do here. My face wash that I use daily it's new. It is the Biore um, Deep Pour Charcoal Cleanser. This stuff is really good. It really helps out my breakouts that I get. I know I've heard a lot of people say that it didn't work for them and it just broke them out more. I don't know why, but this works like forever. I mean, not forever, but amazingly. Great stuff. And... When I get a really bad breakout before that time of the month, I will use this for about three days in a row because uh, it is maximum strength. It has benzoyl, benz, not even gonna say it, but you can use it for your face, chest, and back if you have back acne, because I do. Um, I've had it for a few years, but you can use this. It, really dries out your acne. It's great. But after you use that, uh, make sure you use a really good moisturizer because it really will dry out your skin. I would do the St. Ives Timeless Skin. This is great. I love this. I usually put this on every night. I wake up, my skin is really soft. It's really soft before I go to sleep too, so this is great. When I'm not using my Panoxyl, I think that's what it's called, this 
and I'm not using that and I just wash my face normally, I will put on the Pons. It is a dark spot correcting cream moisturizer. I love this because it really does fade your acne scars and it's only in, in such a little bottle is because I can't find it in a bigger bottle at Walmart or a bigger container. So, but this will last you for maybe a month and a half. So I would say if you're trying to get rid of acne scars, I would try this. <sighs> also, moving on to the body. Um, if you have any kind of body acne, there is this stuff here made by Neutrogena and it is pretty nice um, you just don't spray upside down so you want to spray on your back go for it it really helps clears them up really fast so um, also my favorite makeup wipe removers are Neutrogena also they don't leave a residue on my face like a lot of other ones do I can I only use one to take off my whole face you know dark this is dark makeup right now it will take it off in like one swipe maybe two most of the time so that's pretty cool so lotion my favorite lotion is love spell from victoria's secret i have the perfume and this and that's all i use a lot of people just know me by the smell they're just like oh you're victoria's secret you use victoria's secret this is yep it's a very common one that everybody loves but i've loved this for maybe three years i've used it um it makes you smell amazing you can just walk by somebody and they smell you love it and acne body wash from Dial, right here. You can get this in the face wash aisle at Walmart. Um, I use this, it really helps body acne. I used to have it really bad on my chest. I do have scarring on there, but it really helped. Um, I haven't broken out like really bad on my chest for quite a long time because of this. Um, um, let's see, for your hair, I have a few things that I really love and what I, maybe one thing I dislike. So, dry shampoo. If you have oily hair and you want to train your hair to not be oily, it is possible. Um, they sell this dry shampoo at Rite Aid. It's called Batsty. I don't know how you say it, but it has a brown tint to it, and I'll put in my hair about three days in a row, and then wash it. Um, it's really nice, but when you spray it in your hair, let it set for at least five minutes, because if you spray it in there and then try to rub it in, or you know, scrub your hair with it, it will leave brown on your fingers, which isn't cool. but. Other than that, this is amazing. It doesn't make your hair feel like grimy or gritty, whatever that, whatever. But recommended. This is my second bottle. Also, when I straighten my hair, I use the L'Oreal Sleek, Sleek It Iron Straight Hair, not hairspray, heat spray. You need to have heat protectant on your hair. You got to do that. But I use this when I straighten my hair, when I'm not wearing it in a bun. Also, after you get out of the shower and you wash your hair, use, it's a tin. It's a uh, nice little leave-in conditioner. Um, what you do is get out of the shower, you towel dry your hair, not completely dry, but towel dry it, then Put a few squares in it try to avoid the roots if you do have oily hair because the next day it will look really oily i figured that out the hard way um just spray it down in the ends of your hair it makes it really soft you can 
let it dry while you sleep or overnight you can get up and straighten your hair you won't have to put any you know heat protector in it because this is I don't know it's a 10 apparently it's got 10 different products in it what I've heard but nice stuff they sell it at Rite Aid or maybe Walmart I don't know now what I do not like I have wavy hair normally and I bought this Garnier Fertis wave enhancing spray I really don't like it maybe I'm not using it right but I really don't like it it says frizz control it really does not control frizz I'll let you know that right now it should but it doesn't um I guess it may leave your waves in your hair for a little bit but later in the day my waves will get really like frizzy and just look like I haven't brushed my hair all day it's just not something I really like it looks really really oily inside so I mean it may work for some people but I don't like it all right so my next few favorite things are the airspun loose face powder I have the shade uh, Translucent Extra Coverage 070-41. Apparently people have been using this for years, and I didn't know about this until I joined a makeup group. I saw it all the time at Walmart, and I just was like, that looks like there's onions on it. Seriously, it looks like there's onions on it. So yeah, of course I wouldn't buy it. But anyways, um... It works really well. It sets your makeup. It makes your skin look really soft. So my favorite eyeliner would be the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This one here. I really like that one. And it's matte. It dries into a matte black. And that's my favorite. I love matte black. This is my go-to. I've been using this for months now. I ran out for a little bit and didn't go anywhere that bought that had this. Could have bought it online, but of course I didn't. Um, what I use for my brows is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. I love this stuff. A little does go a long way. Uh, I do feel like it needs to be blended a little. Make sure your brows look nice and natural. I like natural brows. And my favorite mascaras. I will use this for the top and bottom. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Linked. I'll use this for the bottom or the top sometimes. Sometimes I'll be lazy and just use it for both, but it has a really nice little brush here that will really help you get those little hairs at the bottom of your eye. And then I like to use my Benefit Their Real Mascara. I just really like their brush. It really captures the hairs. This is also a travel size. Like I said, I like to buy little ones before the bigger ones because I may not like it. That's always a good choice. Always buy little ones. And you can always return them too, so. Also, on my eyes, I use this eye primer. Kind of from Walgreens. It's got Cinderella on it. I really like it. It actually works really well. Um, I don't know what I could compare it to because I really haven't tried that many other eye primers so this one's pretty good I like it I have really oily skin and this really keeps it in place and where is my the colored lips I've been wearing a lot lately is Colourpop's Beeper I love this color it goes with almost everything I think like just the pretty nude color I mean it does get pretty dark but it's pretty nice I like it these are two of my favorite color pops also but these are the little ones I thought they were gonna be bigger when I ordered them 
but I don't know the names of them because the writing just comes straight off. I put them in my pocket and I think one might be Bianca, the other one, I don't know, they're very similar in color, like almost exactly like. One's just a little pinker than the other. One thing I tried was the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Don't like, I mean, I like the colors, but I don't like them because they don't really dry that matte and they get on everything. These are not kiss proof. They're not water bottle proof, nothing. So I honestly wouldn't get this. I mean, this bright one, you don't need that much to see the color, but I know on the others, you do need to apply a bunch. And that's not cool. You want something like ColourPop. Just put it on and it stays on for a few hours without having to reply. You have to reapply this one. I don't like that. Because I'm at work sometimes and I don't want to constantly reapply my makeup. So, one of my other favorite lippies is from Wet n Wild, actually, in the color High Pitched Wine. You put this on and it does stay on for a while. It does dry your lips out a lot worse than color pops, but it stays on. It's awesome. I will so, move on to my favorite eyeshadows. Um, I'm not sure if anybody is as familiar with the Morphe eyeshadows. I'm sure you are. But my favorites are the Morphe 35K. They're so pretty. I just, I can't get over it. They're so pigmented. These are more like of an everyday use. You could use them during the day. You can go in, use these colors up here, mix them in with some darker colors, and you can go for a night look too. So, I mean, if you like natural, you can just buy this and it'll be good. Just be careful when you're dipping your brush in there. They're really pigmented, so lightly dip your brush. Don't just dip it in there as hard as you can. If you have an eyeshadow like that, just don't even use it. Also, my Morphe 35O, because of course everybody loves this one. All these orange tones, and it's beautiful. I just, I love that fall look all the time. That's all I want to ever do, but I just love it. Moment of an a moment. Every time I open this, I've got to have a moment with it. <laughs> so, also another highlighter that I like is from Wet n Wild, the Illuminating Palette. And this one is in Catwalk Pink. What I do when I highlight, I will mix these two colors right here. Because they're just really nice. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my camera. Nope. You can't. My lighting and everything is just crazy. So, um, I think I am about finished. Let me know anything in the comments below, you know, what you like and, and what you try for your acne, things like that. Um, what's your favorite foundation maybe? Um, let me know um so thank you for watching don't first force get why can i ever talk don't forget to subscribe to my channel show me some love go like my videos um go follow my instagram um if anybody wants to know the look on this just let me know i will record a video i remember what i use use the 35 P and 35K Morphe palettes. 
So, um, yeah, I'll just redo it. And the lips I am wearing, lipstick I am wearing, is from Maybelline in Vibrant Violet. I wanted to try a purple. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you like my nopes and yups videos, video of January. Um, have a good day. Thank you for watching.